Okay, so in this question, we're trying to identify uh, the price elasticity of demand for heating oil, and we're given two different values to consider. The short run price elasticity demand is 0 0.2, and the long run price elasticity of demand is 0 0.7. Also, let's just recall in general that the price elasticity of demand is just the percentage change in quantity over the percentage change in price. And in this case, we're going from $1.80 to $2.20. So we have our initial P0 and our P1. So taking what we know about the elasticity formula, we can compute also the percentage change in price using the midpoint formula, which is just gonna be P1 minus P0 over P1 plus P0 over two times 100%. And when we do this, we're going to find, just plugging in our values for P1 and P0, if 220 minus 180, all over 220 plus 180 divided by two times our 100%. And that's just going to be, well, the 220 minus 180 is just 0 0.4. And in the denominator, this guy here is going to be four over two. It's just gonna be two. So we have 0 0.4 over 2 times 100%. 0 0.4 over 2 is just 0 0.2 times 100%. The percentage change in price is 20%. So we're going to plug in this percentage change in price into the two separate values for elasticity that we have. So let's do the short run first. So short run will be done down here. I'm going to plug in the 0 0.2 for the short run elasticity on the left hand side of the equation. The percentage change in quantity is unknown at this point, but we have the percentage change in price. It's 20%. When I multiply across both sides by 20%, what I'm going to get, well, we'll have 0 0.2 times 20%, but this will isolate the value that we're after, the percentage change in quantity. So when we do the 0 0.2 times the 20%, we are going to arrive at a 4% for the percentage change in quantity for the short run. And then similarly, for the long run, we're gonna plug in our value of 0 0.7 to the left-hand side of the equation. And I'm just going to skip a step here because we know that we're just gonna be plugging it into the formula percentage change in price is the same in both cases. So it's just 20% again. And that'll equal our percentage change in quantity. So now when we do the 0.7 times the 20%, we will find that the percentage change in quantity in the long run is 14%. Finally, the question asks us, why might this elasticity depend on the time horizon? Well, just like in the solution to chapter five, problem one, we identified that over a longer time horizon, consumers have a greater ability to adjust to price shocks than they do in the short run. So if the price of heating oil goes up for the next month and you live in Alaska, you can't necessarily plan your move out of Alaska as easily as you could if it were a longer time horizon, say a year or five years.